Hey YouTubers, you see Weapon back again with a Tommy Playrail Brave Bell unboxing review and first run. So let's have a good look at the box. Got this one on eBay. I've been waiting for them to appear on eBay for quite a while. I know it's been out for over six months now. But I just haven't had an opportunity to get one until now. So I'm keen to bring you guys this video and also for myself because I want to have a look at this engine and how it goes. And we'll give it a good comparison to the Trackmaster version. It appears to be a Thomas type drive unit, which is what I call a Thomas type drive unit, which is quite interesting. So let's go ahead and unbox it. Some tape here, and here. Okay, I've got this tag thing for hanging it up in the retail store. And here is our engine, Bell. Brave Bell. Quite brave. Oops. And our first tanker is a Sodor Search and Rescue Center tanker with yellow warning stripes quite different and the second tanker a plain light blue tanker which is a water tanker and that is the same emblem that is on Bell I believe it is some sort of uh, firefighting symbol anyway Let's go ahead and have a good look. Oops. So how have all you been? It has been quite hot here. Lovely, look at that. Have a good look. Get it to focus getting dark outside here but we have lights in here so we're not bothered the guns do move ever so slightly about one millimeter only if that if you can see that I'm not sure you can but anyway number 6120 that is a sticker this whole part, this whole part is a sticker fake metal wheels, fake rear wheels, fake front wheel working traction rods this whole rear section is a sticker and there's some nice detail all around here we have Trackmaster Bell let's line them up together so we're going to have a good look. And I had a feeling the Tommy version would be larger. And it seems to slightly be larger. Ever so slightly. It is taller. And longer. And I'll tell you how long. Because I have my trusty ruler. So... From buffer to buffer is 120 millimeters, or about 125 from the tips of the buffer, or almost 130 actually. You can see that. And the Trackmaster version, which doesn't have much buffer at the front, from buffer to buffer only 120 millimeters. 
and the height from the bottom of the wheel to the roof is about 50 millimeters and on the Tomy version just about the same there 50 millimeters so yes very similar very similar a slightly different shape in the the bottom of the tank here and here and the water cannons are very different also these fins here from the smoke box there is one fin oh sorry there's one fin over here and there's one fin and two big pipes coming down on the trackmaster version so they could be slightly better detail on the trackmaster version also around the sticker is a red and gold stripe and the trackmaster version just a red stripe so let's go ahead and give Tommy Playrail Bell her first run Okay, first we'll put a battery in though, so we unscrew it from the back underneath here. And the shell lifts up. Oh, will it lift up? I might just set it on there. And there is a tab that hooks under the front buffer there in that gap, you can see. This tab just sits in there and takes one double A battery we'll go ahead and fit that now a well known brand of battery and running quite well quite fast it would seem let's go and give it its first run and there when I was putting it back together I noticed a sort of a design flaw where if the switch is back I could not put the shell on, I had to move the switch about halfway forward to fit the shell yes okay batteries fitted I've given Tommy Playrail Bell her train that she came with her two tankers and Trackmaster Bell has Rocky, that's the Tommy Rocky so let's go Oh, look at Tony Bell rocketing away. Quite a demonstration of speed there. Oh, Trackmaster Bell. Oh, he's had a major derailment. my fault the points were half set and back on track now quite slow the trackmaster version is if we look all the way down here Bell from Tommy is much much faster And quite a huge lead now, about half the track. Comes Trackmaster Bell.
And Tony Parrell Bell is rocketing along. Well on the way to lapping Trackmaster Bell. Obviously the right choice if you have an emergency is the Tony Bell. And since we have a derailment, let's see what happens. Rocky has derailed and taken Bell with him. Tommy Pyrel Bell, do you work on the turntable? Quite fast and a lot of real slip. Not too well. So guys and girls, there you have it. Certainly my first video of the new Tony Bell. I've been waiting quite a while to make this video. I'm quite happy with this product. Quite a fast and good looking engine. Very well built. And running quite quietly, as you would expect. I'm going to leave it there today. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.